a bold plan to make Queensland a renewable energy powerhouse. Queensland, it's our time to shine. The $62 billion plan will include the world's biggest pumped hydro project, with Stage 1 earmarked to be completed by 2032. These are projects of national significance on a scale not seen since the construction of Snowy Hydro. It will work with the construction of a new dam in the Pioneer Valley near Mackay and two new pumped hydro projects in Mackay and Gympie, which will act as renewable energy batteries. As we speak, our teams are commencing work on community consultation there. They'll be undertaking a range of studies, environmental studies. A grid of transmission lines will also be set up to connect solar, wind, battery and hydrogen generators. That supergrid delivers around 1,500 kilometres of transmission lines from Brisbane up to North Queensland and all the way out west to Hewenden. New targets have also been set, changing from a goal of 50% renewable energy by 2030 to 70% by 2032 and 80% by 2035. The government has committed $6 billion to the entire energy plan so far. This is an ambitious plan for Queensland and it will be rolled out over the next decade and beyond. The big question is, what does it mean for coal? The state's coal-fired power stations will be converted into clean energy hubs and they won't be reliant on burning coal by 2035. Until the hydros come on, we only gradually phase down in relation to the coal-fired power stations. We need to ensure that the transition is one that is managed very tightly, that power remains reliable and affordable. Rachel Riga, ABC News, Brisbane.